Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Brothers and sisters Welcome to another episode of Salamcast And this is a very special episode indeed oh, wait, Before I carry on Let me just uh, Call my bed <laughs> <laughs> Hope you get the good angle and On that inshallah <laughs> <laughs> Most of you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen, and you definitely have seen the debate with our respect, our beloved brother Muhammad, Muhammad uh, Hijab, and of course Ali Dawa, Dawal, Mashallah, Tabarakallah. Wow. And you know, Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, guys. Yeah. One of the most iconic nights I think in the last ten years in this Ummah. Alhamdulillah, yeah. with the debate between between yourself and uh, and Mr. Mr. Wood. <laughs> you just you just robbed him of his title as a professor right yeah, now. Well, <laughs> I mean, surely if he had those kind of credentials, it would come out in the debate a little bit. But, I mean, <laughs> tell us, tell us about it. What are your thoughts, guys? Bismillah. What are your thoughts? Well, first, uh, let me thank some people. Let me let me praise Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The Quran says, Like you didn't throw when you threw, but Allah threw. So. If anything good came out of that debate, yeah. which I'm sure it did, inshallah, this is all to, it's, you know, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. for that because he's the one yeah. who facilitated everything. He just used me as a vehicle really to convey a very important message to uh, humanity and to Muslims and non-Muslims, etc. I also want to thank my mother because uh, really she um, she equipped me with the Arabic language. Allah uh, Allah. Yes, uh, people Allah don't know about my mother. She's actually... Um, she went to a university in Cairo called Darul Alum. Mm. It's well known. It's well known, mashallah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. She, it's the same university that. It's uh, become Jamia uh, Qahira now, right? I have no idea. It's from University of uh, Cairo or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But she, know, she was fluent in both Arabic, obviously, and uh, Hebrew as well. Mashallah. <laughs> yeah, Hebrew language. Now, <laughs> obviously, that's one of the mis- uh, one of the b- greatest criticisms. Yeah. <laughs> 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 was that <laughs> I made a few yeah. Hebrew mistakes, yeah. especially in the name of Elijah. Elijah. Yeah, yeah. and these things. And Manual, whatever, but yeah, yeah, it was a mistake I made. It, uh, I said that Elijah means uh, God is with us, yeah. and it actually means my God is Yahweh, yeah. Uh, yeah. which is mistaken. But, but out of the whole two and a half hour debate, that was the only thing. But well, I mean, we'll come to that, yeah, we'll come to it. But the point is, I wanted to thank my mum uh, because she was the one who equipped me with um, with that. And um, I believe that in terms of when when people are stu- like students or whatever are asked about who teaches them, yeah. we fall into this trap of. Okay, we, we kind of list all the the, no. the ulama and these things that, no. or the mashayikh that you study with. But no. if you're really honest with yourself, the people who teach you the most are your parents. Absolutely, sahih. In my case, it was my mother. So I just want to thank her for that because I think that that was one of the key elements of the debate. You know, where his, his um, n- lack of understanding when it comes to the Arabic language was was thoroughly exposed. And I think that alhamdulillah. To be honest with you, I was uh, this fluent when it came to Arabic until my later teen years myself. Because my mom and like she, we we had like a she was a single mother, so we moved around and stuff like that, and we didn't it's have time for me to kind of. I learned the Egyptian dialect, yeah. but people know that Egyptian dialects and Fusha Arabic, classical Arabic are no. different. Mm-hmm. So she uh, later later on, I, I would sit with her for hours and just trying to understand Arabic language. I knew she had the qualifications to help me, so that happened later on in my kind of middle mid to late teens. Yeah. So, um, which shows you it can be it can be done. You know, it can be done. Anyone can do it. Absolutely. You know, so. Alhamdulillah, and, it, and it's a very. You've never gone thing. abroad, really. To I've been abroad a few times to Egypt. Yeah. yeah. Holidays as such when you were younger. No, no, I spent, I spent like nine, like nine months at a time when I when I was thinking in Egypt and stuff. When we went to we went to uh, Egypt Jade, and stuff, and that did help me as well. But um, but it was actually just in the UK. Where you know what I'm saying I I kind of made the most out of my mom etc. So she's most to thank. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so yeah, and then after that, the Mashaykh, all of them who who have taught me, uh, the Islamic studies, um, the Egyptian Mashaykh, like you know Sheikh Ahmed, uh, the Mauritanian, you know Sheikh Ammar Shakiti, and all of those uh, Mashaykh that have helped me, mm-hmm. they also deserve uh, thanks and uh, gratitude for for that. No. Uh, even Sheikh Akram Nadwi, uh, he who taught me also Arabic language, uh, uh, you know, and um, others, yani. But um, that's that's that. As it relates to the preparation for the debate, a lot of people helped me. Um, a lot of people helped me, like um, for example uh, Abu Zakaria, who wrote the book, mm. uh, and he was really, really, really active in helping me. I mean, almost every day we were kind of discussing Masail, and he's written a book. Um, and he's got a website which is called Many Prophets One Message, and I really recommend everyone goes on yes, that website. Yeah. It's a very good website. Yeah. It's, it's an inc- good it's website. an incredible Absolutely. accessible resource, yeah. um, um, which really and truly, I mean, the reason 
the thing is, what we try to do is that when we were kind of, when I was getting recommendations to read books, a lot of it was secondary source material. Yeah. One of the main ones that kind of struck out, stuck out for me was a book called um, Early Christian Doctrines, which is quite a thick book yeah. um, written by someone called Jane D. Kelly. Um, yeah. I've never known she'd recommended that I read this book. Many okay. people recommended that I read this book. So I, I read this book, not all of it, the, the relevant sections, because it was quite a thick read. And... Um, uh, I realized very quickly that everyone was saying the same thing. It wasn't just J and D Kelly; mm -hmm. it was pretty much everyone that was making that was was narrating uh, what happened, like uh, three thousand years of church history is another book by McCulloch, uh, and other books that kind of all saying the same thing. Yep. So I, that made me very confident in the thesis. Then I started looking at the bibliographies and the primary source materials, and that helped me more. Mm -hmm. I just I was completely convinced by the thesis. How long did it take you to prepare? Uh, well, to be honest with you, I had done some cursory readings before, yeah. um, but I, a lot of the, like I took a lot of shortcuts because, uh, like I said, with Abu Zakaria and Adnan Rashid, we sat with him for yes, a whole day. Yes, I now, remember that because we actually came with him as well. Um, Hamza Zorz has helped Hamza, me as well yeah, with the philosophical type arguments because yeah. uh, that's kind of like his field of specialism. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Abdullah Andalusi, uh, who uh, debated David Wood before. He had some really, 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 really in, insightful uh, things to tell me, um, and many, many other people. Uh, which, sure. and I'm, I'm forgetting of yourself, mm -hmm. mashallah. You help with the hadith and these things and preparation with um, like uh, these matters. Uh, the brothers from Dalla Alum, Blackburn, uh, you know, yes, Allah. especially Allah. issues to do with because I wanted to cover all grounds. I, I came into this mm -hmm. debate no, uh, making sure that if he comes in with. Yep. You know, uh, Hanafi or this and that, yep. or that I wasn't going to be thrown off, uh, off, off guard. Uh, help in the park, the brothers in the park, the yeah, brothers in the park, Hashim, Mansoor. Mashallah, Mashallah. He actually came here, not too. Yeah, not too uh, Hashim, yeah, yeah. Mansoor. <laughs> yeah. uh, they, they, they helped me a lot with uh, with mm. forming arguments and stuff like that. Mm. Shabir Ali, even though to be honest with you, in terms of traditionalism and the extent to which we stick to the traditional classical framework, we're on completely two different wavelengths. Yeah, yeah, but. I sent him what I was planning to say to to David Wood and stuff like that and some of the main arguments and I he I recall that even emails are sent as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he looked at that. Organizations all over. The, I mean this is an example, subhanAllah, but yeah, Allah's yeah. a prime example of whether Ummah essentially united. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. For yeah. a single common cause, a maslaha that mm. concerned the Ummah. Exactly, bro. Everyone I, came together. Regardless of aqeed or creed or mm. manhaj that you follow or mm. everyone was helping me. So mm. it so wasn't just Muhammad from, Hijab that they were yeah, facing. It was yeah. the ideas of uh, I was just standing on the on the shoulders of many intellectual giants mm. and also of many dais and propagators of Islam, mm. who had tried and tested these arguments before, and um, we're used to kind of like the Ahmadiyya debates yes. and these things, but, but this is a movement kind of away from the biblical textual arguments, mm. and towards something a different, a more historical approach, a more logical approach. Uh, and so really I got a lot of people to thank I've, I don't even know um, if I've covered everyone I've definitely not My immediate family, alhamdulillah They've, sure. they've helped me um, You know Even people that were just kind of leaving me alone Because as in the last few weeks, you know <laughs> as in, <laughs> You know, I, I wasn't given everyone their rights Oh, and, dangerous card now Yes, yeah. yes You have so, a lot of apologies to make, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no but Obviously there's a lot of reading involved in of this course, Of a course A lot of reading We don't um, thank our wives enough and for the sacrifices they make for us. To be honest no. with you, Akhi, man, the reading is when I get obsessed with something, I get obsessed with something. Course, you know, yeah. give me the time. I, I was even in the the airplane, and for some reason, I read the Bible before, but I just f felt like I need to read it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was in the airplane. It takes about twenty or thirty hours to read the Bible from cover to cover. Twenty mm -hmm. hours, probably, if you want to read it properly. You know, mm -hmm. and so just things like that. It takes a lot of your energy, man. Yeah, yeah of course. And so, yeah. Alhamdulillah, yeah. I have a lot of people saying Ali Dawa. Uh, he no, thank, no, no. I have to him to thank, of course. A resident uh, Salam member. But because he because he he was co uh, coaching me, and it's you know Subhanallah, uh, it's always important when he was there at my side. I felt like a bit more assured than this is like a coach, and he was actually giving me advice. You know what to say, what not to say, psycho when, psychological when, elements. When, when, so when to comb your beard. When to comb. Uh, he actually gave me he gave me that advice. That was it, huh? He said, make sure you comb your beard. You know, <laughs> this is psychologically it has some effect. It shows that you know. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. So we're gonna have his uh, beard line uh, coming out called confidence. You know, confidence. confidence come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, sell beard combs. I mean, I need to uh, make a, make a living now because of uh, <laughs> some things that happened in my life. Yes, yes. And yes. We will strengthen your side. We'll strengthen you with your brother. Yes. Yeah, 
Allah said this to to Musa alayhi <laughs> salam in Qasr al Harun. And I believe you will like this to to Hijab. It, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, like yes. like and you said the same about Hijab in Speaker's Corner. Yeah. About Muhammad Hijab in, in Speaker's Corner. Well, yeah, yeah, of course, because the thing is, you know, like, Which work, is, like Alhamdulillah, that's one thing that I really appreciate about him is that, uh, for example, is encouraging. You know, because sometimes he'll say to me, like, I'll, I'll, I'll sometimes come to him and say, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm lacking in this, man, I'm lacking yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll just come and say, you know what, look, don't. Like take easy on yourself. Yes, yes, don't yes, beat yourself up too much. Yeah. Take things with a pinch of salt, and that helps you. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. Psycholo- works, psychological of support. It works. It? <coughs> it works both ways, you know. Yeah. Like um, even because I was there, I was sleeping on the plane because I'm very scared of planes. Uh, <laughs> like I just tried to sleep here, yeah, my way okay. all the way through. <laughs> and on the way back, it was terrible turbulence. Like you know, I was just, just. I think, I think maybe not to write with you, but Alfia, I think four hours on the journey, I was just. <laughs> I think we just do our like. So the thing is, but on the way there, I could see that, for example, I would be sleeping, and you know sometimes you get up? No. Every time I go up, I saw him read. Like, every time I'm sleeping, I go up, I'm thinking, is he not sleeping? Like, he's he's like this, yeah? And you could see the effort he put into it, alhamdulillah, yeah? He, like, constantly, two hours hours a day, he was sleeping. And one day, the day before the the debate, I said to him, bro, you have to sleep properly, because your body can just shut down on you. You can be on the (coughs) debate, and then you're on the floor the next minute. And I said, look, if that happens, I'll be really angry, just make sure you sleep. And obviously he knows himself, he was sleeping one, two hours a, a day. Alhamdulillah, he did the fun. Like, Alhamdulillah, all praise Allah, 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 it was yeah. phenomenal. You know, he, he like, he yeah. deserved because he put the work in, you know. Mm, absolutely. He put the work in. I saw this guy put the work in when I'm sleeping, you know, and I'm looking, he's he's reading, he's reading. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, and it was it was amazing, you know. I think it's an example of everyone, bro. Of course. Wallah, you know. it's an example. If you want something, you, you have to put the effort in. Yes, yes, yes. It's 100%. true, it's true. I mean, true. I mean and, he, he, even before he left, he... Mashallah, yani. yeah, when he like, wants to find out something or research something, he won't leave you alone. That's good. Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. It's yeah. good. And one thing that I found with this today, <laughs> like, you know, it's like I was saying, you know, like it was, I felt like it was divinely stipulated. Uh, like, of course, alhamdulillah, everything is. But I'm saying the way things were done, like it's a matter of three weeks. Yeah. yeah. And obviously some people, our teachers had their concerns of it's a bit too early. Yes. Are you ready for I'm it? Sure. Et cetera, et cetera. This guy's had this many debates. You know, this is your second debate. It was, so, my, it was my third, actually. It was your third debate, yeah? yeah. <laughs> yeah. The public one, on, on, oh, yeah, like, yeah, moderated, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So the thing is, there was concerns. So even us, we were thinking, okay, when we go there, we're going to get stopped on the border, yeah. and they're not going to let us in. <laughs> None of that. We went smooth. I couldn't believe it. That like, mm. we went, like, the, the people in the border were joking with us. Yeah. Mm. Like, they would just come. The way that went through, from the hotel to everything. Like, everything was just, it's just... It, it's like, it's like it was just catered for us. It was yeah? made easy. It was made easy for you. Subhanallah. It was, it's unbelievable. Like the way it was made easy and the success of the debate, I'm being honest, I wasn't expecting that. Allah I was thinking Allah. in my head, it's going to be good. And it's going to be good. But we'll probably come and say to the hijab, oh, you should have done better there. When the debate finishes, we were just like, like, I, we took it. It was, it, it didn't yeah. sink in. Because no. I remember me and him, we went to, um, what was the park called? Central Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're yeah. walking and like every time I'm walking, I'm start laughing. And I'm like, did this really just happen here? Yeah? And he's like, because it's just, it didn't sink in. I was like, it didn't just happen. Like, it, the way it went was so successful. Yeah. And this person deserved it. It was, it was phenomenal. I don't know. It was just amazing. Man. I could, Allah the Allah whole Allah. trip, it was amazing. Allah Akbar. Amazing. We, we ask, we ask Allah, we beseech Allah that Allah Jalla accepts it from, from both of you, from the whole team, from everyone involved. Um, and you know, this shows really the, the kind of takaful. What's the word in Arabic? In English, takaful. It's like the complementary kind of approach of this ummah. Because everyone from different specializations came together mm-hmm. for this one common course. So I mentioned mm-hmm. they united together, but yeah. it's literally different specialisms came together. Mm-hmm. You know, hadith, for example, uh, ancient Christian uh, Christian, Christian texts, mm-hmm. for example, uh, Hebrew language, languages, mm-hmm. etc. philosophy. Everything. Literally. It's, it's, like, it's just... like the MMA match, you know, the opponent. Like, yeah. <laughs> you've got the wrestling covered, you've got the yeah. mm-hmm. grappling, the, no. f- the, f- the f- everything. Mm-hmm. He, came, no. he was prepared. If you so. come to that, I'm ready for this. You get it? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, it was very good. Very good. Alhamdulillah. So, what? Talk to us now about. All right. So we cover the background. All right. But talk to us the actual debate. And obviously, we're going to have some kind of uh, footage coming out soon. As salam as well. Yes. uh, Detailing certain things. But talk to us. What was your feelings in the debate? Because I'll give you an example. I'll start this off. Obviously, common criticism that was levied at you, uh, Khuna Muhammad, was 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 that you were a bit harsh. You were a bit harsh. I mean, a bit is. No, it's was, an understatement. He was, he was perfectly harsh. <laughs> perfectly harsh. <laughs> okay, perfectly okay. Harsh. So we okay, Mumtaz, talk to us about that, bro. Talk to us. I about accept it. the criticism. I mean, the thing is, I think sometimes when, when I first saw the guy, I mean, I remember when I actually when he came in and he was in the same venue as I was, and I looked at him to be honest with you, and I thought, I was utterly disappointed in him as a human being. I mean, I know, I know, <laughs> so I know, I actually felt disappointed on his behalf for him because. 
It's the kind of, of course. Yeah. The, the kind of stuff that he's been doing and saying. I, I don't know if many people that are from outside the Islamic tradition can associate with this, but I'll try and make it as um, I'll try and make them as empathetic as possible. Mm. Like, for example, just think about someone in your family, like your mother or something. Yeah, mm. um, she's been slandered or she's been uh, like videos are being done about, and you see the person, yeah, who's been doing all of that. Yeah, uh, how 